Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I have two things to show you in today's video. Number one, it's going to be, I still have Tricky, but he has the pen attachment here. So what I can do is put a pen inside of here and do some drawing with Tricky. That's going to be awesome. And then we also have to figure out, before Thanksgiving break, I threw out the question, do the EV3 bricks lose their charge? So I have an answer for that today. So today, Tricky and the pen bot here, and also finding out if EV3 bricks lose their charge. So if you want to see all of that, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, so before we get to Tricky and the pen attachment, let's go ahead and find out if EV3 bricks lose their charge over time. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and find out. It was three weeks ago when we first tested out how much battery this brick had. So today is going to be the day. Three weeks. It actually been longer than what I thought. And we're going to go ahead and see how much charge did each of these bricks lose in three weeks. So I'm not sure. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be the same as before? Or do you think it's going to have lost some charge? Let's find out. Okay, so the first brick that I have connected, this was the brick that had the five and a half blocks of charge. So let's go ahead and figure out what we have here. We're gonna go down here and get some brick information. And ooh, this thing is at five blocks of power now. So this thing did lose a 0.5 or a half of a block of charge in those three weeks. That's actually not too bad. So let's go ahead and hook up the other bricks. Okay, so this was the brick this was the one of the three bricks that had the full charge. So we're going to do the same thing. Let's come over down here and get some brick information. And this one is still full. So this brick did not lose any of the charge. Let's go ahead and let's hook in another brick here. All right. So this is another brick that had full charge. And let's go ahead now and find out the information on this one here. Okay, we're going to get this information right here. And this one is still at full charge. So this brick did not lose any charge. And then we have this one last brick here. there so this was the third brick that had the full charge and let's see what's happening here okay we're just gonna say not now with the update and let's get this brick information here and we have six blocks of charge so I'm not sure what it is about this one brick that lost the 0.5. Who knows? But these three bricks that were at full charge three weeks ago are still fully charged. So, you know, there's some proof right there. There's that whole block. Sorry, it's kind of hard. Not too shabby. So EV3 is doing pretty good with their brick charge of not losing any of it. Wasn't that amazing? So it's really cool to know that unlike my phone, these EV3 bricks, if you just leave them lying around, they will retain, in, in case of that one brick, most of them will retain that charge. So we've figured out that question. So for those of you that just have always wondered about, you know, EV3 bricks keeping that charge, that's a pretty thing. That's a pretty good thing to know. So now let's go to the inventor Tricky bot here with this uh, pen attachment. I really like Tricky. What I'm going to be able to do is just continue to 
keep Tricky around to program with him because there's a lot of cool attachments like this pen attachment that Tricky has. So I definitely want to show that to you guys. And I apologize for those of you that might be feeling a little bit left out again for those of you with EV3s. Um, I definitely want to keep um, EV3s coming at you. But right now, this inventor kit is just so cool. I'm sorry, I can't break away. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Tricky bot with this pen attachment. Okay, guys, so there's Tricky with this pen attachment. And the only thing that's really keeping this pen attachment in is this one pin right there. That's keeping this whole attachment in. And these rubber bands come with the inventor kit. So all you have to do is just take this, you know, whatever pen you have, and you're gonna be placing it inside of these rubber bands. So what's gonna be cool today is the program. If you notice, this thing is going to be able to come up. So in the program, it has a pen up and pen down type effect. You know, for those of you that do VEX VR, they have the same thing, a pen up and pen down. So in case, you know, you want to not keep uh, drawing or writing, this thing can come up. And when you're ready to have the pen go down, then it will go down. So let's get this pen inside of here and let's do some drawing. Okay, so I have my Sharpie inserted into this pen attachment. Got lots of paper because, you know, you don't want the Sharpie ink bleeding onto your table. And let's go ahead and run this program. Okay, everybody, Tricky is ready. The Sharpie is ready. Uh, my paper's ready. I just taped it down because you guys know when things draw on paper, you just want to make sure it's secure so it doesn't, you know, move around. So let's go ahead and start this program and let's watch Tricky do his stuff. Hey, check that out. Pretty nice, tricky. So let's go ahead and move this robot a little bit and just see if he can do another one right next to it. So we can have uh, like a double square here. Can never get enough of checking out tricky here. Nice. Tricky is pretty tricky. So let's just do this one more time and we'll move it so that it can have almost like a 3D effect here. That is pretty cool. So that is gonna be the pen attachment here for Tricky. So that's really cool. Um, you know, for those of you that teach robotics, getting your students to just know how to program, to draw different things, whether it be letters, numbers, uh, different geometric shapes. So that's just a real cool aspect about robotics is just understanding the code and program to be able to do things like that. Okay guys, so there you have it. We learned a lot of things today. Definitely learn that for those of you that have EV3 bricks, the charge does not lose even after three weeks. So that's really cool to know. And then we also learned with Tricky here that you know with the right attachment that you can draw and design things with your robots so that you know you can understand the program, understand the code and knowing how to you know do straight lines, curves, um, you know, it's just the possibilities are endless. So again, for those of you with EV3s, I apologize. I don't want to alienate you guys and think that I'm never coming back to EV3. It's just I'm having so much fun with this inventor right now, just exploring things because I was with EV3 for so long. So it's just really neat to be able to see the different possibilities that this inventor kit has. So I just want to reassure you, I'm still with you on, you know, 
Um, the EV3, for those of you that do Spike Prime, I still have my Spike Prime kit. So it's just one of those things where, you know, my mind is going to whatever right now is fresh and new. And right now, this, you know, inventor tricky robot um, is just going to be something that I'm just going to be hanging around a while on. And what my next venture is going to be, for those of you that do first Lego League, is, you know, can Tricky be a first Lego League robot? What do you think? I'm with you. I think it's yes. Okay, guys. So hopefully you're enjoying these Inventor Kit robots uh, videos. And um, just one of those things where I'm just going to try to skip around, do some different things. But for right now, I just, uh, my mind is right now on Tricky because... There's just so many different builds and so many different things you can do. So um, bear with me here, okay, guys? All right. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I know. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys. Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.